Good morning. Good morning. It is now 4 a.m. or a minute or two before 4 a.m. Thursday, July 23rd, 2015. And I'm up getting ready to head to the hospital. I have to be there at 5. It only takes like 15, 20 minutes to get there, but I would like to stop specifically to Waffle House because I can eat before I go in. I'm not having a C-section or anything, so I can actually eat before I go into um, check-in. And after I check-in, I can't eat anything else after that unless it's like ice chips or something like that. Um, Stefan, he's over there getting ready. He's checking his phone, but um i got up a few minutes before he did just to do some <coughs> things mm. and i'm just wearing this shirt with some leggings and some flip-flops like i said i had already packed my hospital bag in the car yesterday so i'm just you know making sure that i grab some stuff to go as far as how I'm feeling, I slept pretty well last night. Um, what can I say? I slept, yeah, I slept pretty well. Um, it was kind of hard for me to maneuver or lay the way that I wanted to lay, but I did get some sleep, so I am happy about that. And um, I did have contractions throughout the night. Uh, I can't, I don't, wasn't counting how many hours in between or how many minutes they were just because I was so tired. Um, but now that I'm awake and I'm moving around, I've only had, um, maybe one or two since I've been awake for the last like 30 minutes or whatever. And I think it's because of me moving around and stuff. Um, with the folly, Cathara is still in. Um, the only thing that I did not like that I found out last night was that it, it's taped to my leg and then there's a little opening that leaks out. So I had to sleep with a towel under me because it was leaking out throughout the night, which is a little TMI disgusting, but you know, this information needs to be said. So and I kind of already knew that that was going to happen anyway because I was told by someone when I asked them about it because I didn't really know much about it before I got it in yesterday. So, but it's not like something that's unbearable or something that's like all over the place. It's just like, um, just like little spots here and there that happens. And it wasn't like constantly throughout the night. It was just sometimes. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to continue to get ready. Um, and hopefully when we get to Waffle House, I'll film and then I'll film us walking into the building. So, see y'all in a few. Hola, people. We back at, well, we back at, we made it to Waffle House. Um, I got about 24 minutes. Um, but we're right, literally right down the street from the hospital, so I'm so glad they built this one house right down the street from the hospital. So, Stefan, he's tired. Say hey, Stefan. I don't know why he doesn't like he's tired. He get up at this time every morning, but normally he back to sleep. So when we get back to the, um, when we check in, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go to sleep. Because I'm not probably gonna be anywhere near delivering at the time or whatever. Um, my mom got me these. That's what's wearing my baby shower. I didn't wear them in my baby shower. So I figured it'd be a good time to wear them now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I got the. Where did I get? The Texas bacon cheese stick. No. I got this right here. That's when I was craving. Way before I knew I was gonna come here. Ooh, I'm gonna walk a house before I go in. And I want to take some bacon cheese steak and other way from grits. I'm gonna get a grits in my stomach so I'm not starving by the time I actually go into labor. So, yeah, um, my food. As soon as it's done, 
drink my Sprite, get back to the road, and I'll see y'all next stop at the hospital. progressing the way they should and all that kind of stuff. Okay, any questions for me? So, than so what are you at right now? Six to seven centimeters. Six to okay. seven? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yep. they're getting it. good. You just need to get all the way up to ten and then we'll get to our cushion. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, well I'll be following the baby strips and we'll, uh, these kids will always look good. Okay, so. thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Are you able to tell when you're having contractions? Mm. When I was able to sleep at first, I can tell a little bit. Mm -hmm. So your after was working pretty well. Down. Mm -hmm. Are you able to do that? Just pull. You can take something. Yeah. Okay. 
You are laying on your black back because this um, epidural is going to work like crap. And I'm going to give you some of it right now. How tall are you, honey? 5'8. And who's going to be the person that's going to be coming back with us? Your husband, and that is you, obviously, correct? And they gave you a bunny suit, correct? Yes, sir? I got a bunny suit. All right, as soon as we take her, your job is to put the bunny suit on. Um, and then have a camera or whatever you have, your iPhone or what have you with you um, when you come in the room. Next room but we, don't okay. about we will not come and get you until we know that she is completely numb and the doctor checked her and we know that she's numb and good to go and that we're going to be ready to start. Okay? okay. Um, so we're not going to get you right away. Okay. okay. So once we know that she's good and numb, then we'll come grab you to come back with 
Okay. Yes. You'll be sitting in a pink chair right here beside me. Okay? So it's going to be me, you in a chair, and then mom. You're going to see this half of mom. Yeah. This is all going to be the doctors. This is all going to be us. Her hands yeah. are going to be out yeah, on the that's table. That's what I want to see. Yeah, and you can grab her hand and hold her hand whenever, you know, whatever you would like to do. Okay. Um, anything on our side is touchable. Anything on the doctor's side, we don't okay. touch. Okay. Um, if you want to stand up whenever your little ones are coming out and look, feel free. If you fall over and faint, um, she's my responsibility and you're basically on your own. Okay? Um, so, if you feel good about it, you can stand up and look. You can't take pictures of all of this, but you can watch um, as everything's happening. Um, and then whenever the babies are over in their basins and their little bassinet thingies, then you can go over there and snap a bunch of pictures if you would like. Okay? Um, Mom, I'm going to be back there with you the whole time. My name is April. If you feel anything Hello. weird, uncomfortable, you're not sure what's going on, let me know. Yeah, she and then I will tell you the normal aspect and I'll talk you through it, okay? Like I said, if it's, I'm not yeah, covering you your face, a, I'm not going to be right behind you. Okay. Um, yeah. You're doing charting or what have you. You're going to feel you ready? going down your back, okay? <laughs> Has this epidural been working for you pretty good? You got time. It's your last few moments not being a dad. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Almost there. This epidural, <laughs> what I'm going to be giving you, is basically I can get rid of a lot of stuff. I can get rid of a lot of pain, scratching, stuff like that. You're going to feel. On the pressure, you're going to feel. Like, I can't get rid of that. You're going to be in the waiting room. So basically, they make the incision down below. Um, okay. To get the babies out, okay. they push right. literally right okay. below your breasts mm -hmm. to pop babies out. Okay. She comes. So, so look at something. You're gonna feel that. It's gonna feel like an elephant sitting on your chest. I swear, everybody thinks it lasts for like an hour, but it lasts less than a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. So grab Dad's hand, brace yourself. I'll let you know when it's happening. Mm -hmm. So then that way you'll well, actually it might be a little longer than a minute for you because you have two. Yeah. But um, make two minutes. Okay? No longer than two, I suppose. Do you? Okay. Um, 